Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at marketplace e-commerce. We're going to dive into this specific feature, but we're going to not only cover the feature itself and some of the benefits of this feature, we're also going to take a look at real world examples and some different iterations of this specific scenario for marketplace e-commerce. We're also going to talk a little bit about some of the permutations or iterations that you might see around this feature. And then we're going to wrap up. And if you can stick around till the end of the video, going to have an opportunity to take advantage of some complimentary resources that we have available to you as it relates to marketplace e-commerce. With that said, let's dive in. Marketplace e-commerce homepages. Now, one of the things that a lot of folks think about whenever they look at their marketplace e-commerce platform is a lot of very specific functionality, details and nuances around the marketplace. Now, while this is absolutely important, one of the most interesting things about a website, whenever it comes to organic SEO, whenever it comes to conversion rate optimization and just general usage of the site is the homepage is very, very critical overall for the overall website. Now, let me give you some data so you can understand this. From an SEO perspective, it's really important because typically somewhere between 15 to over 50% of your organic traffic will be directed to your homepage. Those are a pretty massive range of numbers, but even if it's as low as 15%, isn't it worth it to you? It's probably gonna be the highest traffic page on the entire site. So isn't it worth it to you to highly invest in the homepage and look at some different examples and scenarios? Now, one of the big things that we see a lot is that clients don't necessarily do a lot of testing and validation and research. They'll tend toward putting something in place and then keeping it for a very long time. So we really want to encourage you to consider running analytics, leveraging testing and data in order to optimize your homepage iteratively over time. One of the other key aspects of your homepage, of course, is conversion rate optimization. Now, this is a multi-front opportunity because typically whenever someone's coming to your site, they're coming to the site looking for one of three or four key areas. They're gonna be coming to your site looking for instructional information, transactional information, navigational information, or possibly commercial information. These are sort of common intentions for visiting the site. Now, of course, if it's instructional, they're trying to learn about what they've searched for in order to find that on your site or any site out there that has it available. So if you have a quick way to navigate to any kind of instructional information, your homepage can be a very key jumping off point in order to convert that traffic into long-term traffic that's going to continue to uh, visit your site and interact with your site over time. Now, whenever somebody is visiting your site from a navigational perspective, you want to be able to visually help them go through the process. So here you can see an example site that we're showing and right away, this particular site is giving them access to different categories and they have a very high level of how to get around these different categories and navigate very quickly to them. Uh, there's also an immediate search and an immediate dropdown to look at all the different categories. So it's really helpful to have a visual cue associated with each of your categories, subcategories, and then some of the common products within and making sure that it's very visual from a navigation perspective. So that's really important on the homepage as well as being able to allow them to move toward an instructional access if they're coming for that. So you're really looking at multiple prongs or multiple different facets that you're gonna to want to be able to serve. In addition to that, you're also going to be looking for folks who are transactional and giving them what they need. And of course, if it's very transactional, they may want to directly search for something or see products very, very quickly so they can get to them right away and make a purchase. And then ultimately commercial is typically referred to as somebody who is comparing information. They may be shopping around and they're going to come back later. And so how are you able to facilitate their ability to validate and look at different opportunities to make a purchase? So these are some of the things that you'll want to consider whenever you are designing and building your homepage. Now, one of the other big aspects is the overall branding and credibility and feel of your homepage. One of the biggest things that's really interesting about consumers and really just anyone who's browsing a website is that typically within the first few hundred milliseconds, they've already decided whether or not they're going to bounce from your site. 
Now think about that. That's tenths of a second. And you can probably relate very directly that whenever you see a site, you very quickly make that split second or sub second decision about whether or not you're going to stick around. Then typically the load time and then the accessibility, the ability to find things in a consistent, logical location, that will also tend to drive whether or not you continue to go through the funnel. So doesn't it make sense to analyze this and look at some of your competitors and then also look at some of the best practices within the overall industry? So we really encourage you to think about this as a constantly changing and iterating set of data for which you want to have a feedback loop. Now, of course, a great feedback loop has a great starting place, and it also makes sense to consider key aspects like the branding, making sure you have search, category drill down, you have some call outs to some of the main categories or top sellers, you have the ability to quickly get to key areas within the site using common standard UI UX principles. So we even have like common iconography so folks can quickly see what's going on. They can easily change languages. Um, and then what makes a lot of sense typically is to show how the platform works, how your marketplace works visually with, again, iconography. It helps to have credibility that really speaks to some of your partners and what's going on, what's working, and then giving them a, a simple call to action so they can dive right in. So these are some of the things that are really common themes with home pages that you can start with. But again, we encourage you to think of this as an iterative feedback loop. Whenever you are putting your marketplace e-commerce platform in place, how can you make it into a iterative process while including those core elements that we talked about? I hope that was helpful. We have a few more details that we're going to be able to provide to you uh, at the end of this video. I encourage you to take a look at those and wish you all the best on your marketplace e-commerce journey ahead. Thanks for watching this video on Marketplace e-commerce. In this particular edition, we went into quite a bit of detail. However, we want you to know that we have complimentary resources that you can download for free that give you a summary and a cheat sheet on key aspects of Marketplace e-commerce. In particular, we go into quite a bit of detail around a checklist. It can be really helpful when upfront planning for a Marketplace e-commerce project. We also have go live steps and optimization steps around various different aspects of running the marketplace, making it self-service, setting up the governance rules, optimizing for organic SEO, performance, security tuning, and really the list goes on. We certainly encourage you to take a look at those links in the description. And as always, if you would like to, we encourage you to go to town on that like button Certainly feel free to subscribe so you can get notifications about additional videos like this. And we'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.